Welcome back to Create Often. This is Jen Evans for Heidi Swap, and I'm here to show you how to make an art page for your mixed media journal using the Mink Foil Applicator and Mink Paint. I'm super excited to show you this process video, so let's get our supplies and get started. First, we're going to need some watercolor paper that I've cut to size. See the dimensions in the description box below. Some stencils. You're going to want to use um, the Mink Reactive Paint and a clean paintbrush along with your favorite colors of acrylic. I have these in the description box below so you can see which ones I'm using specifically for this page. You're going to also want to use white acrylic paint along with a cosmetic sponge. Most importantly, a non-stick craft mat. So let's get started. So I get asked a lot whether or not this technique can be used with the Mink Art Screen Ink or the Mink Reactive Mist. And in this particular page, the way I'm using a paintbrush, it cannot. So the Mink Paint is the best medium to use. You're going to want to use a clean paintbrush. And it's kind of funny that I accidentally grabbed a not clean. A, a dirty one. It's not dirty, but it's stained. And so this is actually the one I use with my um, watercolor. So it, the, the paint sh really should be put on on it with a clean paintbrush. And you can't really see in the video, but a little bit of pink tint was coming off of it. And it, it doesn't show in this particular project, so it's no big deal, but it's a good tip to know. After I'm done brushing on some of the um, the paint onto the page, I clean my surface so that's not sticky and there's nothing left on. You want to make sure you do this after using these products. I always clean my surface first before I dry my project because I don't want the mediums to dry on my surface or they won't come off. And so um, I'm cleaning or drying this with a heat gun so that it is completely dry to the touch. You can kind of see the, the glossy areas in there. You know and you can feel it if it's done, it's ready to foil. You can definitely do this technique with a 12 inch mink, but I wanted to show you how you can do a full page that um, is this big in the six inch mink. So I'm gonna put my foil on the page and I'm gonna fold it over so that every part of the paper is covered that has the mink paint is covered with foil. I don't want any of that exposed or it can transfer to the transfer folder. If you're using your 12 inch mink and you're not folding your page over, I would recommend a heat setting of three, but because now my um, paper is a lot thicker, I'm using a heat setting of five because now the watercolor is a lot thick, thicker with the fo it fold being folded in half. I'm running it through the mink and it is going to um, use the four rollers that it has inside to press and heat up the mink paint and react with the foil. Because I'm using a watercolor paper, the paper is going to have texture and so it's not going to be a smooth foil, which is exactly what I want because I want that texture to show in my, um, it, with the painting and also um, I want a, a little bit of texture for when I add the layers of paint. And see how um, these paint streaks look really great, they're random, and we're gonna be ready to paint on top of this now. Again, with the, the leftover foil, I can always save that for a different project. That would be a lot of fun. I'm starting to add my paint now. You're kind of doing this backwards than what you would normally do um, with, if I foiled after I painted the paper, um, there is some plastic and polymer in paint, so the whole page would get foiled. So I wouldn't want that to happen. That's why I'm kind of doing it in the, the opposite way by foiling first and then painting over top. I'm putting a light layer of paint over top and drying each layer individually with the heat gun off camera to save time on this video. But um, I kind of like it thick, thicker paint. And so with the uh, um, maybe another page, I'd, I definitely would add even more layers to the top of that so that the colors were even more vibrant. I'm using a stencil now and I'm using some twisting motions with, um, with a cosmetic sponge to get the stencil image on there really nice and crisp. I want to water down my acrylic, white acrylic paint for this next step so that it 
it's more of a white wash. So I'm using a clean um, cosmetic sponge and lay, laying the stencil over top. This is one of Heidi's stencils. And just doing that twisting motion again with the wrist to make sure that it doesn't have a lot of paint on there and um, that it's not moving the stencil at all, but just getting in the areas that it needs to get into. I really like the whitewash over the foil because the foil still shines through. It's not too thick so that it actually co doesn't cover the foil, but it does just let that foil shine through the stenciled image. It's really beautiful. I love this background for um, any page. It's really a great base to either do a scrapbook page on or um, journaling or some art over top of that when you're done letting this whole background dry. You can just add some stamping like I'm gonna do um, next and it's really a, a lot easier than it looks. It looks like you um, spent a lot of time um, doing some deep leaf foiling or something when really it was just the mink that did all the work. So this page took me about 10 minutes to make all together and if I was doing the other side at the same time I would have really um, run that whole thing through the mink at the same time and done all the painting at the same time. So you really can get two pages in that those 10 minutes. Lastly, I added a stamp with black stays on ink so that it would go right over top of the foil and it's done. Um, thanks for joining me and until next time, create often.